today we're going to be testing the end scale locomotive. So as we know, that one works. And that one's only been the one that's really only been featured. Speed of little ship. But uh, let's get that one off. And let's attempt to get this one on, but that one doesn't really need its tender. Just looks better, but getting that on with one hand. Hold up. Unfortunately, I'm on the iPad, so I can't pause like I usually can. I'm like, I probably won't even bother cutting whip, you know, because I'm lazy. Oh, come on. Alright, we got it on the tracks. So let's give it some power. I'm still there, but I mean, that just might need a break in. Let's try the other direction. Okay, I just do. It's <laughs> completely. God, I hate the zoom. Like, I'm so not used. Yeah, okay, I'll just say screw the tender. Doesn't seem to like reverse. That's super weird. That's sus. Okay. So that one runs on forward, not reverse. Interesting. And the last one, which I doubt even runs, but. I can, it, it feels awfully light, like weight-wise compared to this one, which this one's slightly smart. I mean, weight-wise, that one's super light. So uh, I don't. I think it's actually honestly much think it's smarter. Like the way I'm just able to push it, and then the driver is just spinning. Yeah, I'd say that one doesn't even run, so. Okay, so. With that, we know which ones do and which ones do not run. So we kind of have a semi runner here. Which I under ultimately do not understand. Why the heck it. Yeah, because I just flip it around. And then it. That's weird. Wait, it wants to, but then it doesn't? But anyways, with that, I thank you guys all for watching, and until next time, goodbye!